scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. This is where many believers fail. We do not act. The Bible clearly says there is he that scattereth and tender to poverty. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat. I mean, there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. And yet you will find people who are greedy wanting God to bless them. You will find people who have no passion for the house of God wanting God to bless them. You will find people who ignore and neglect diligence wanting God to bless them. What are the areas that you are trusting God for a miracle? What are the areas in your life, precious people of God, that you're trusting God to activate supernatural possibilities? I may be talking to a man of God, a woman of God, who is trusting God. You're saying, Apostle, you may not know what is happening to me in ministry. I am down. Ministry is not working. I love God with all my heart. I serve Him, but I don't seem to see the outstretched arm of God. It may be a mother who is watching. It may be a father who is saying, Will God visit my family? Can He visit my children? I'm tired of negative things happening around my life. Until you are willing to take responsibility, the light will never shine blaming people for your condition blaming the government for your condition now i know that here and there there may be legitimate grounds upon which you may say okay my father my brother my uncle somebody who would have helped me but listen to me i say this especially to africans nigerians i say this to believers until you are willing to take responsibility over your results you will never that sense of entitlement that makes it look like someone somewhere should succeed and come and bless you it will only lead to frustration as a man of god you must take responsibility and say look if my ministry is not working it is not because there are too many churches in my city if my ministry is not working it is not because um, maybe there is some kind of tribal sentiments no take responsibility there may be a dimension of grace and fire and knowledge that I do not know and you contend for it in the spirit of faith very very important so you must find out the end of meditation is understanding and understanding is only complete when you find out your role your participatory role in causing the work that God had finished in Christ to be made manifest in your life please try to understand this Abraham did not just sit down God beckoned on him follow me and the Bible says Abraham got up and began to walk he got to a point where God beckoned on him Abraham take now thy son thy only son whom thou lovest even at the risk of being controversial even at the risk of being looked upon do you know what it means to sacrifice your child I don't know the extent of wickedness that that would be that a man would carry his young son of about 12 years old take him to a mountain and go and butcher him simply you would see that as selfishness and yet he was able to take that risk to prove to God that he trusted him and God swore and said in blessing I will bless you you read that in Hebrews chapter, uh, uh, Romans chapter 4, when he began to talk about the, the, the faith of Abraham, that Abraham, I think we should go there as I prepare to round up. Romans chapter 4, please. Mm, hallelujah. Romans chapter 4. We'll read verse 1 and 2. Then for time's sake, I will rush to verse um i will rush to verse 
verse 12 and 13 and then we'll just look at a few things and see the character of faith it says what shall we say then that abraham as our father as pertaining to the flesh had found that means he's showing us now how abraham obtained the promise verse 3 for what saith okay verse 3 let's go to verse 3 for what saith the scripture listen carefully abraham believed god and it was counted unto him for righteousness for time's sake i want us to go to verse 16 verse 16 very quickly the bible says therefore it is of faith that it might be by grace to the end that the promise might be sure to all the seed not to that only which is of the law but to that which is of the faith of abraham who is the father of us all 17 as it is written i have made thee a father of many nations the maker is speaking again i have made thee the father of many nations before whom he believed even god who quickened the dead and called those things which be not as though they were look at the character of faith now verse 18 the bible says who against hope so do not think abraham just believed god because it was convenient there were things around him that negated the speakings of god but the bible says who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according not to his desire according to that which was spoken what was spoken so shall thy seed be 19 it says and be not weak in faith he considered not so the character of faith is that once you find what god has said and you find your role do not consider what the limitations are he says he was about a hundred years old neither yet considered the deadness of sarah's womb he staggered not the bible says at the promise of god through unbelief remember i spoke about the integrity of god staggering not at the promise of god through unbelief he says but was strong in faith giving glory to god hallelujah and being fully persuaded fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able are you seeing now just leave it there so we see that he was persuaded at god's integrity and now he's persuaded in god's ability integrity ability god do you love me enough to do it yes god do you have power enough to do it yes on this basis i believe you show me what role i have to play and god says this is now your role joshua selman this is now your role new heritage baptist church a b c d and when you find it you obtain grace from god to walk in keeping with that which he has given you and the bible says inevitably if that becomes true for you then your result is guaranteed blessed is she that believes the bible says for unto her there shall be a performance not unto them unto her who believe unto new heritage baptist church who believe there shall be a performance of the things that were spoken of the mouth of god when he came to mary the bible says he met mary brought glad tidings sent an angel gabriel came and met mary and began to bring a very controversial salutation called a woman who was highly favored and mary looked and wondered what manner of salutation was this and she began to tell mary that she would have seed that would not come from a mortal man and mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man and then he says the power of the highest shall come overshadow you at the end of it mary said be it unto me this is where we are going to be praying i just established our first prayer point be it unto me according to thy word be it unto my finances according to thy word be it unto ministry according to thy word be it unto family not according to the economy not according to the times the economy has its own template the times have their own template but be it unto me according to thy word i want you to lift up your voice wherever you are and begin to pray and talk to the lord sincerely new heritage baptist church we are praying be it unto me pray the prayer of mary 
and Abraham believed God. He was persuaded about God's integrity. He was persuaded about God's ability. Listen, two of them are important. You can be persuaded in God's integrity. He does not lie. He does not fail. But that's not enough to give you results. You may be persuaded about God's ability alone. You need both a revelation of the shorty of his integrity and his ability. We are praying. Grant me grace to know that you are a God of integrity. Grant me grace to know that you are a God who does not fail. In a world today that is full of disappointments, in a world today that is full of disappointed expectations, grant me grace to know that you are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent, that if your mouth utters it, and if you appear to me through your word, giving me promises, showing me principles, revealing prophecies to me, then I can trust you. I can take you for your word. We are praying. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty God of heaven, we believe you for New Heritage Baptist Church. We believe you for this mighty assembly. We thank you for the things that you have spoken this year through the mouth of your servant. We thank you for the great things that you have in store for your Zion, for their spiritual growth, for their transformation, for their families, for their finances, for their relevance, for their lives, for their health. We thank you. Bring us all, O oh God, to a point of persuasion, unbendedness. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Father, open my eyes to see the promise, the principle, and the prophecy allocated for birthing my possibility. Now, two people can have the same need, but the scripture that God will use to bail them out will be different. Two women can be trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Two women can be trusting God to lift their families. For one, God will give a scripture. You need a specific prophetic word, a specific scripture that reveals to you what God wants to do. Say, open thou my eyes that I may behold wondrous things from out of thy law. We are praying, Lord, open my eyes. Reveal to me by the agency of the Spirit. Show me, appear to me via your word. Let me see the promise allocated for the area of concern in my life. If my marriage is not working, Lord, show me the scripture. If my health is not working, show me your word. If my destiny is stagnated, show me your word. He sent forth his word, the Bible says, and his word healed them and delivered them. You are praying from the depth of your heart. You are taking personal responsibility for your life. Take personal responsibility for your home, your family, your finances, your ministry. Lord, grant me grace. I take responsibility over my destiny. And in the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, the Son of the living God, I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, that I find through searching, I find through prayer, I find through the labor dimension of the word of God. I pray and ask the Lord to open my eyes. Let me find the principles allocated for my lifting. Let me find the principles allocated for my favor, the scriptures. Hallelujah. The Bible says, now that you know these things, it says, happy are you if you do them. It is not just hearing the word that produces results. It is not just knowing what God has said. You must obtain grace to do. The grace does not exempt you from doing. The grace empowers you to do. This is, I think, a, a bit of a balance that must be brought. Because most people think that all that the grace of God does is to exempt you from doing. There are actions that are actions of the law that have been dealt with, but there are actions of faith. James said, show me your faith without works and I will show you my faith by my works. There are works that are actions, attestations, participatory actions that validate that you believe God. 
very very important joshua chapter 1 verse says this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth he says but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein he says thou mayest observe no not just observe to speak confession is a very active part of faith but that's not all you must obtain grace to do there are many of us we may need to write the things that we will need to do as our participatory actions of obedience to prove to god that we believe him fully and then commit his integrity god is a god of integrity but he's integrity on our behalf at the point of obedience deuteronomy chapter 28 i'm rounding up deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and it shall come to pass if that's a condition thou shalt diligently hearken to the then to observe and next to do all not to do some not to do the one you like not to do the one convenient let me tell you this when you are obeying god you don't choose your conditions you don't choose your terms if god gives you an uh, a, a challenges you for instance and said take a seed to your pastor and sow it into his life so that he will speak over your life to break this hold of delay for instance you must be careful to do all if god says be diligent a lazy man will beg in harvest you cannot just be praying and refuse to be productive and expect that god is going to bring things in your hand no you will have to trust god for grace to do all his commandments which i command thee this day he says as a result the lord will set thee on high above all nations of the earth and then verse 2 says these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if that's the condition thou shalt hearken to the voice of the lord thy god we are going to pray lord show me my role in birthing the possibility that you intend for me to have in this season show me my role we are praying please pray show me my role for some of you your role will need to be to go for training for some of you your your role will need to be investing knowledge for some of you your role will need to be to go and buy books that discuss your subject of concern for some of you your role will need to be humility for some of you your role will need to be to build character for some of you your role will need to be to spend more time with god's word for some of you your role will need to be to stay with scripture and build until you conform to the image of god for some of you your role will need to be to take risks for some of you, your role will need to be to build relationships. For some of you, your role will need to be to spend more time in prayer. For some of you, your role will need to be wisdom, to access wisdom. For some of you, your role, <coughs> excuse me, may need to be to go online and search for job opportunities. For some of you, your role will need to be to sit down with your wife and talk and build a great marriage. For some of you, your role will need to be to be more attentive to your children. For some of you, your role may need to be to love the body of Christ. For some of you, your role may need to be to love God with all your heart. Pray from the depth of your heart. What is my role, O oh God? There has to be something that I need to do. The rich man came to Jesus and said, Good master, what do I do to inherit eternal life? Now the next point we are going to pray. Nobody can fulfill the demands of faith in the strength of the flesh. This is something we need to understand. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 from verse 1, it says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Powerful scripture. Who walk not, not just who sit down there, 
who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit verse 2 says for the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death three he says for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh you see that now the flesh made the law weak he says god sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh verse 4 and then the bible says that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit verse 5 he says for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit here's the point for to be carnally minded the word carnal there means sensual that means the limitation of your impulses is what you think what you hear what you see what you taste to be carnally minded will only lead you to death it says but to be spiritually minded is life and peace let me just pause here a bit and as we round up let me just encourage us believers we are in very sensitive times that require high level spirituality there are people who sit down and you know we hear all kinds of things from the media we hear all kinds of things from our relatives and our friends and you just put on the television and it's like everything is about war everything is about trouble it's like the whole world is packing up let me tell you this straight it is not the destruction of satan that will bring jesus back it is the glory and the dominion of the saints he is coming as the king of weak kings god is not sitting on the throne scratching his head and wondering what to do no and the church is not becoming a powerless entity that is under the limitation and, and the vicissitudes of life the church is the bride of christ guarded by his own jealousy we are a victorious people but we must be careful what we 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 allow into the ear gate into the eye gate these are sensitive gates to our spirits the things you read the things you hear the company you keep it is very important culture your atmosphere remain at a level of spirituality that allows the holy spirit to be comfortable working with you there are pastors who believe that until certain things happen we cannot prosper there are businessmen who believe until certain things happen we cannot prosper that's not true god is still a maker he's making men making families making destinies restoring hope there are people who have been so blessed even during this pandemic there are people who have known god there are people who have increased i like you to exempt yourself through knowledge you must make up your mind in as much as we love the whole body of christ and we love the world we sympathize with the tragic things that have happened to people but do not allow what is happening in the world to suddenly destroy your conviction i know whom i have believed i may not know who you believe and what you believe but i know what i have believed so we are going to pray lord help me to be spiritual to be spiritual that my mind is governed by your word not the speakings left right bombarded here and there not let me not give satan room to dampen my faith let me not give satan room to destroy my convictions are we praying thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus now i'd like you to pray for new heritage baptist church pray for pastor great servant of god pray for his dear wife pray for his family we are at times where ministry is very challenging the devil is raising all kinds of onslaughts to make sure that the church becomes voiceless and and we have to pray pray for him pray for his wife pray for his family pray for the deaconry of the new heritage baptist church pray for the youth pray for every arm of the church we decree and declare that new heritage baptist church will only continue to go from glory to glory pray for the wonderful mothers pray for those trusting god for healing pray for those trusting god for lifting pray for those trusting god for supernatural turnarounds father we thank you in the name of jesus the christ of god you have shared with us that it is possible to activate divine possibilities and you have taught us again that results are not the reason why you desire us to seek you you desire that much more than the things that you will do for us that will seek to know you because we truly love you and lord we trust you and we we say it again that we love you not because of tea and bread we love you not because of the things that you give us we love you for who you are but lord we thank you that you are benevolent enough to not leave us without help you are our helper and you are our maker 
and thank you for showing us the systemic nature of your kingdom that we can activate keys that upon engaging them will open us to a world of limitless possibilities you have taught us faith lord i pray that you bring us to a point of persuasion where we are convinced about your integrity where we are convinced about your ability open us oh god to the understanding illumination that will help us know the participatory roles that we have to play in actualizing prophecy and promises over our lives and lord we obtain grace grace that will help us to be diligent and to be persistent until your word speaks over our lives father i stretch my hands and i pray for new heritage baptist church and as many who are following and will be following in the name of jesus i pray that you will bless everyone i pray by the ministry of the spirit i bring you the ministry of the holy ghost i pray that the power of god will touch people that in homes in families you experience the grace of god i pray for breakthrough i pray for restoration those who have gone down and gone cold spiritually i pray in the name of jesus let there be an activation of a fresh love and fire for the things of god whatever is a distraction to your life and your spiritual experience i declare that god will cut it away from you in the name of jesus i pray that you will love the lord with all your heart i pray that you will hunger after the things of god and i pray for the leadership i pray for all families represented i pray for the youth everything you desire god to do in your life i release my faith with you and in the name of jesus i pray that you are having this experience as your heritage in the name of jesus the lord bless you the lord honor you in the name of jesus christ let me challenge you um please and please i want you to get relevant teachings that talk about the specific areas of concern let that be your responsibility find out by the spirit the relevant areas that talk about the issues of concern sit with the word of god meditate upon it until you come to a point of persuasion and you come to a point where your faith is alive then when you find your role obtain grace from god and do it do it with all your heart do it with patience and persistence and i assure you that in the name of jesus you will find out that you will step into a whole world a new world of supernatural possibilities may the lord bless you with his presence may the lord bless you with his word in jesus name i pray Amen. hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.